California. We're live. We're local. We are, we're here for you. Yeah. Coming up, a look at World in California news, local news, sports, financial news, weather, other good stuff. Birthdays today. Well, we'll get to them. But uh, Mark Zuckerberg turns 36 today. Uh, Zuckerberg, uh, he's the guy from Facebook. He wears a gray t-shirt sh- every day. Okay. And, and well, that's the way he is. And somebody asked, and he said he wears a gray T-shirt every day because he doesn't want to waste time on unimportant things. That's rather ironic, isn't it? Because, hey, Gene, he's the guy from Facebook, right? He's the guy that uh, discovered or invented how to waste time. Exactly. <sighs> now, question here for those of you who spend time on Facebook. Okay, guys, what's the difference between your wife and Mark Zuckerberg? Well, the answer is easy. Zuckerberg knows more about you and your habits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He gets paid oh, for well. it, too. Happy birthday, Mark the gazillionaire Zuckerberg. Oh, well. Anyway, are you ready for the other birthdays? We've got other birthdays. Okay, we already mentioned Gene Cornish of The Rascals. He's 76. Movie director, producer George Lucas. Back to the Future. He's 76. Actress Meg Foster, 72. Director Robert Zemeckis. He did Forrest Gump and, and, well, actually he did Back to the Future. Lucas, of course, did the uh, Star Wars stuff. Okay. Uh, who else? Actor Tim Roth, 59. Actor Dam- Danny Houston is 58. Uh, musician Fabrice Morvan. He was half of Millie Vanilli. He's 54. Well, there's only one half left. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and that would be Fabrice. Mm-hmm. Uh, it sounds like something you spray on, uh, you know, your clothes before you put them in yeah. the washer, right? Get that static out of them or yes. something. Yes. Actress Kate Blanchett is 51. Singer Danny Wood of New Kids on the Block is 51. Don't think he qualifies for New Kids on the Block. Not anymore. No. Actor Gabriel Mann is 48. Actress Carla Jimenez is 46. Henry Garza, he plays guitar for Los Lonely Boys. He's 42. Actress Amber Tamblin, Russ Tamblin's little girl, is 37. And uh, actress Miranda Cosgrove, I, Carly, is 27. Are you ready for the local birthday? I'm ready. Always the the local. Uh, Coming up. Wash your hands. Avoid sick people and touching your face. There are everyday actions to help prevent the spread of respiratory diseases. Visit cdc.gov slash COVID-19. Brought to you by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. We have birthdays to celebrate today. Happy birthday, Cheryl McAndrews, Mateo Lizarica, Daniel Albert Ramirez, Mark Lorona, Aaron Foy, Catherine Johnson, Felipe Irigoyen, Juan Campos Jr., Kenneth Birdie, Lisa Gutierrez, Mason Ricardo Rios, Alfredo Nunez, Christian Salazar, Justin Matarino, and Chava Lopez. Happy birthday from KXO. Okay, let's see. This is day 4,962 of um, home confinement, right? Yeah, might as well be. And you don't even get an ankle bracelet the way a criminal would. Uh, No. Well, well, don't give them any ideas. You're right. Well, it would be like the testing supplies. Uh, Well, yeah, we got plenty of them, but where are they? Nobody knows. Uh, We'll get back to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Uh, well, Lady Gaga is selling a new... <laughs> Lady Gaga has a new line of jock straps and thongs, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and because it's Lady Gaga, the jock straps and thongs are designed to be worn on the head. Ah, yes. Hey. Well, she's, she's figured out, uh, you know, how to make money uh, in a variety of ways. You got it. Yeah, we can do it. How oh, well. And, uh, you know, the latest uh, media frenzy is over murder hornets. 
Oh, boy. You know, I'm going to buy stock in an insect repellent company. Think that might help? Yeah, it might. We just need to quit talking about them, and they'll, yeah. they'll disappear. That, that's the thing that the media does too much of, is they yak too much about it. Well, let's grab onto it and run with it for a while. Yeah. I think maybe if I mounted a quad 50 caliber uh, machine gun um, in the backyard, I could probably take care of murder hornets and mosquitoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No comment. Okay. Maybe a bazooka. Uh, that's a possibility. Yes. You don't um, have to be a good shot, just close. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, anyway, um, and I know you're a big YouTube fan. We're on YouTube right now. Mm -hmm. somebody, uh, somebody counted there are more than 20 instructional videos on YouTube demonstrating correct hand washing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> That's just for the left hand. There's yeah, another 30 there's another. for the right hand. Yeah, you know, everybody's got to do something. Yes, and Gabe Lemus has, yeah, you know, he he has the great idea. You know, they're they're saying wash your hands often for 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. You know, spend 20 seconds throughout the day washing your hands. Well, Gabe spends 45 minutes in the morning washing his hands, and his figure he figures he's got done for the day. Yeah, he's got it all covered for the yep. day. I mean, okay. that, that, those are very good examples of uh, Gabeisms. Yes. Okay, are you ready for news? We've got news coming up. We do. It's a look at world and California news headlines to begin with. And it's brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. For sales and service, call the experts at Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. CBS News Update. President Trump calls him a disgruntled employee. In an interview for Sunday's 60 Minutes, Dr. Rick Bright claims he was transferred from his government job because he warned the Trump administration to prepare for the pandemic. We see too many doctors and nurses now dying. And I was thinking that we could have done more to get those masks and those supplies to them sooner. And if we had, would they still be alive today? Bright is getting ready to testify before lawmakers in the House. California Congresswoman Anna Eshoo chairs the subcommittee. We can't have a system where the government fires those who get it right and reward those who get it completely wrong. Bright says that without a coordinated national response based in science, the pandemic will get far worse. CBS News Update. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Lock Air Conditioning wants you to protect the things you care about. Protect your family with the air scrubber that utilizes Active Pure certified technology to protect against airborne and surface contaminants. Clean, deodorize, purify, and protect not only your family, but your home. The air scrubber installs easily to your heating and cooling system, and it's made in the USA. Call Lock Air Conditioning now for details. 760-353-4501. Lock air conditioning and protect the things you care about. Contractor's license number 696216. California headline news. In Los Angeles County, officials clarifying reports about how long stay-at-home orders will remain in place there. I also want to start by apologizing for the, for the confusion I inadvertently created yesterday when I indicated that we would need to continue with the health officer orders through the next few months. Public Health Director Dr. Barbara Ferrer going on to say that health officer orders may remain in place, but the county can reopen as long as there isn't a new spike of people getting infected. Public schools across the state won't all reopen at the same time, according to State Superintendent Tony Thurman. The issue that is on everyone's mind is school reopening. I want to be clear that we are not anticipating a common opening across school districts or a mandate for when school districts open. Thurman suggesting that students may have to be split into morning and afternoon shifts to allow for safe distancing and may be required to wear masks. Republican Mike Garcia, apparently the winner in the special election for the District 25 congressional seat. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. Yeah, call them now. Yeah, a little bit of a break before summer actually hits. Call Lock Air Conditioning for that preseason checkup. Right now, the world feels different as we stay apart to make sure we can safely come back together. Till then, there is something you can do without even leaving your home. Respond to the 2020 Census online, by phone, or by mail. 
The census impacts where hundreds of billions in federal funding will go for things like hospitals, schools, and roads. Now is the time to go to 2020census.gov. It's as easy as it is important. Shape your future. Start here at 2020census.gov. Paid for by U.S. Census Bureau. Okay, you know how it feels when you've saved enough for that long-awaited home edition? Now imagine an addition on that edition. That's the feeling with Capital One where a new savings account earns an interest rate five times the national average. That's right, five times, as represented by five times more singers. This is Banking Reimagined. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Terms apply. Rate comparison based on FDIC national rate. Capital One NA member FDIC. And it's page one of the local news. Page one is service of Quick Lane Tyron Auto Centers. They have two locations in the valley. In the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 in Julia Drive, and on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less in El Centro. Taking a look at the latest in local news for a Thursday morning, an additional 44 positive tests for the COVID-19 virus were reported by the Imperial County Public Health Department on Wednesday. 20 of those cases uh, came from Calexico and 12 from El Centro. There are now 647 total positive cases and 324 are considered active. There were another or there was another uh, death reported uh, Wednesday. That brings the total uh, deaths to 14. 309 individuals uh, have recovered from the virus. Testing continues to lag well behind the number the state says is necessary to move the next phase of the recovery uh, process. Well, governors, they should meet. Isn't that what all governors do? George Gale has the story. That from San Diego and Imperial County officials. They would like the governor of California to meet with the governor of Baja, California. They would like the two to work out a plan that would allow them to work together on COVID-19 issues, including the planned reopening. The uh, virus appears to have been moving faster in Baja, California. Mexicali was last reported 109 deaths from COVID-19 and with 996 confirmed cases in Tijuana, there have been 292 deaths and 1,247 confirmed cases. San Diego and Imperial County say they are a unique by location. Both are the only counties in California bordering Mexico. For more information on these and other local news stories, go to the KXO website. I'm George Gale reporting for KXO Local News. KXO News Time, 743. It's Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers for your service needs. Whether it's a lube job, oil and filter change, brake job, battery or wheel balance and alignment, Quick Lane can handle it. And Quick Lane services all makes and all models. Oh, and by the way, you never need an appointment. Tires, all the best brands at the best price guaranteed. See your Quick Lane service advisor for details. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in the Brawley Auto Plaza, Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and on Imperial Avenue in El Centro, right next to Food for Less. Well, beware of a new stop sign. The city of El Centro is installing a four-way stop at the intersection of Wake Avenue and Thomas Drive. The new stop signs will go into effect on Wednesday, May 20th, East and westbound traffic on Wake will be required to stop at Thomas Drive. IVC has two, count them, two new administrators. Here's more in that story. They will oversee the Student Affairs Department. The two will oversee Imperial Valley College's Student Affairs Department, which includes government activities, campus organizations, facilities access, enrollment, and other areas that impact IVC's 8,000 students. James Dalski was hired as interim Dean of Student Affairs and Enrollment Services in the beginning of May. Yareli Rivera is uh, working directly with students as one of the youngest managers hired at Imperial Valley College and assumed the student development and activities director position. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. And that concludes this edition of Local News, page two coming up. Page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro. Quick Lane, they've got the best price on tires guaranteed. Talk to your Quick Lane service advisor for details. Quick Lane in Brawley and El Centro.
as our country continues to work through this crisis, China Power's Chinese food remains open to serve our customers. Simply call 760-353-1510 for takeout service. You and your family can enjoy the same great food you're accustomed to for lunch or dinner in the comfort of your home or office. If you need a menu, go to ChinaPalaceRestaurants.com. Delivery to your home or office is also available. So order your favorite Chinese food, lunch or dinner dishes like salt and pepper fish or chicken, Mongolian beef or chicken, seafood dishes, and more. For home or office takeout, call now, 760-353-1510, 353-1510, that's 353-1510. Yes, China Palace Chinese food is now open for takeout service for as long as they're allowed to do so. Takeout service now at China Palace Chinese food. Page two of the local news and weather brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, or retirement planning. Continuing with more local news, the Ruby Awards are out. Here's more on that story. The winners have been announced. Sir Optimus International Club of El Centro Ruby Awards recognizes non-member women who assist girls and women in the community. Winners this year include Imperial Valley Cancer Support Center Executive Director Arita Chen, Imperial Valley College Academic System Specialist Dixie Krim, and House of Hope Program Manager Lupe Rodriguez. The uh, Ruby Award is in honor of the late Ruby Lee Minor, who was the International Federation's first president. Because of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, there will be no presentation ceremony. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. El Centro Police are investigating a stabbing that occurred Tuesday night. El Centro Dispatch Center received a call at around 9 p.m. that there was a man with stab wounds. Police responded to the area of Interstate 8 and South 4th Street where they located a victim who had been stabbed in the right arm and chest. The only description of a suspect was a man wearing a black face mask and white shirt with black pants who apparently left the scene on a beach cruiser style bike. The victim was transported to El Centro Regional Medical Center and then airlifted to the trauma center at Desert Regional Center in Palm Springs where he underwent surgery for his wounds. The incident remains under investigation. Well, there are two uh, controlled burns uh, scheduled for later in the month. George Gale has the story. Both are scheduled for May 31st. Both are in San Diego County, but probably will be visible in Imperial County. One is at the Cuyamaca Rancho State Park. The other one will be at the Palomar Mountain State Park. The controlled burns are being uh, coordinated by the California Department of Parks and Recreation and the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. Both are part of a forest health and recovery program, including hazardous fuel load reduction, vegetation management, reforestation of watershed and wildlife habitat improvement, and other ecological benefits. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. We'll be back with a look at the weather. David H. West Insurance has been helping residents in Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs. David, Jose, and staff are trained professionals who can help you make the right decision with your insurance coverage from health, Medicare, and most importantly, a life insurance plan. How much life insurance do you need and what's your monthly cost? We'll call David H. West Insurance today to make an appointment and get a free quote on a life insurance plan that's right for you and your family at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411. Here's Carol Buckley with the weather update. According to the National Weather Service, near to slightly below normal temperatures will last through today, while dry conditions persist. Increasing high pressure into the weekend will lead to warmer temperatures and highs once again reaching near 100 degrees by Sunday. The above normal temperatures are likely to last through next Monday before another cooling trend takes place through the middle of next week. A large but dry area of low pressure aloft will move through the area early next week, leading to a substantial increase in wind, especially Tuesday. 
89 the high yesterday, 64 our low. Mostly sunny today with a high near 93. West wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, increasing to 10 to 15 miles an hour this afternoon with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 66. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. Friday will be sunny with a high near 94. West wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Saturday sunny with a high near 99. South southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. And on Sunday it'll be sunny with a high near 99. Southeast wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. 72 degrees and 10 38 percent relative humidity. Wind out of the west at 3 to 5 miles per hour. Page two of the local news has been brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicare supplemental coverage. David H. West Insurance Services. No child in Imperial County should go hungry. This is Kiana Alvarez. And I'm Kyla Alvarez for the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Living in a food insecure home makes it difficult for children to perform efficiently in school and to face the challenges of being a child. I urge you to help these kids donate to the Food Bank's backpack program. Recipients are children who rely on school meals and risk going hungry on weekends when they're away from school. The IV Food Bank backpack program. Donate online at ivfoodbank.org. It's sports time. What's going on in baseball? Well, Tampa Bay Rays ace Blake Snell says he's not going to play this season for a reduced salary, especially because the risk of contracting the coronavirus is just not worth it. Snell went on against Major League Baseball's reported proposal of a 50-50 revenue split with the players for a coronavirus-shortened season. And... Um, Snell says, I got to get my money. I'm not playing unless I get mine, okay? And that's just the way it is for me. The 50-50 revenue split is included in a plan approved Monday by owners. And uh, the Major League Baseball Players Association is expected to reject that element of the proposal and counter that a March agreement between the parties guaranteed players a prorated portion of their salaries. Meanwhile, the uh, players uh, will uh, take a look at that. And among the players speaking out include Trevor Bauer and Adam Jones. And they're both saying, hey, to the stars, the guys making the uh, Bafo Bucks, it's time for you to speak up. We've got more sports coming up. Hi, this is Mike Morris from El Centro Motors. These are some trying times we're going through, but I'm going to tell you something. In my 40-year history with Ford Motor, I have never seen incentives like this. 0% for 84 months and no payments for six months. 0% on Super Duty, that's unheard of. So if you don't come see us first, we can't save you any money. And we're open right now. 0% for 84 months on new 2019 Ford's in stock. Excludes Raptor, Shelby, Escape, Transit, and Super Duty. Payment relief up to six months on select inventory. Not all buyers will qualify for the 0% and Ford Motor Credit Company. See dealer for details. El Centro Motor Showroom is open Monday through Saturday from 9 till 6. Stay safe. Stay healthy. It's that easy. Well, the PGA Tour is stressing the importance of various social distancing measures and stay-in-place initiatives as the organization attempts to return in June after what will be a three-month shutdown due to the coronavirus pandemic. Some of that will be unrealistic as players and caddies attempt to go about their normal routines during the course of a day at tournaments. Meanwhile, Carolina Panthers owner David Tepper believes there should be enough coronavirus tests by the fall so that NFL teams can play games in stadiums with some fans. The Panthers are one of 20 NFL teams with open-air stadiums. Five others have retractable roofs. And speaking of NFL, KXO continues our presentation of great postseason NFL games. And at 5 o'clock, it's uh, the Green Bay Packers, the Seattle Seahawks, in a uh, repeat of the 2014 NFL champion, NFC championship game, rather. Yeah, that's uh, 5 o'clock this evening, right here on 
AM 1230 KXO. And that's it for Sports Time. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometowns, and that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB and this station. We are taking a look at financial news and a brief look at the weather. U.S. stocks uh, trading rather mixed right now after uh, opening more than 400 points down. The uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average now only down 80. The S&P 500 off 15.7. And the NASDAQ is down 77 points. Uh, gold is at, uh, well, it's moving up. Up twenty-four dollars and thirty cents an ounce, and the oil up eighty-two cents a barrel. The uh, market moving because of uh, the uh, thirty-six point five million jobs that have been lost due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The uh, data early this morning showed nearly three million more Americans lost their jobs last week. Meanwhile, U.S. authorities have warned that Chinese hackers were attempting to steal coronavirus data on treatments and vaccines, adding fuel to Washington's war with Beijing over the pandemic. The FBI and the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency said organizations researching COVID-19 were at risk of targeting a network compromise by China. They warned that Chinese government-affiliated groups and others were attempting to obtain valuable intellectual property and public health data related to vaccines, treatments, and testing. China's efforts to target these sectors pose a significant threat to our nation's response to COVID-19. The uh, warning added to the battle between the uh, U.S. and China over the outbreak that began in China and has killed almost 300,000 worldwide, more than 83,000 in the U.S. While there is no known cure for COVID-19 yet, the Serve Pro professionals are here for you. Safety is always the number one priority, and Serve Pro is here to perform the necessary bioremediation services to clean, disinfect, and sanitize your business. That's right, Serve Pro cleanup practices are in accordance with the CDC guidelines, and we are continuing to update our protocols because this is a constantly changing event. Call Serve Pro of El Centro, Salton Sea, and Yuma. 760-337-5858 in the Imperial Valley and 928-247-1180 in Yuma. Independently owned and operated. Surf Pro professionals are trained in adhering to the highest cleaning and sanitation standards. Call anytime, 24 hours a day. After hour services always available. It will be mostly sunny today with a high near 93, west winds 5 to 10 miles an hour, increasing to 10 to 15 miles an hour this afternoon with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 66, west winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. And tomorrow will be sunny with a high near 94, west wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. 73 degrees downtown, 36% relative humidity, wind out of the west at 3 to 5 miles per hour. Visit our website, kxoradio.com, news and information you can use. We are also uh, on YouTube. We've got the KXO YouTube channel. You can subscribe. And of course... Our Facebook page, oftentimes uh, breaking news pops up first on our Facebook page. Follow us, friend us, like us. We are on Facebook. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. CBS News is next. It is brought to you by the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. It's all here, right here. 
CBS News on the Hour, presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Steve Kathan in northern New Jersey. A fresh warning about the coronavirus comes from a man President Trump has labeled a disgruntled employee, Dr. Rick Bright. 2020 could be the darkest winter in modern history. He says Americans need scientists like him to speak truth to save lives. Let us lead. Let us speak without fear of retribution. Dr. Bright says he warned about the virus in January and was met with hostility by administration officials. He was later reassigned to another government job. Bill Rakoff, CBS News. The CDC is due to issue an alert to doctors this week about a mysterious inflammatory illness in children that may be linked to COVID-19. CBS's Dr. Tara Nerula says it mimics another disease. The treatment for Kawasaki appears to be effective for these kids. And that treatment is IVIG, sometimes steroids, immune modulators, and blood pressure supporting medication. So overall, if ch children develop this syndrome, the prognosis seems to be pretty good. Well, bars were the first to see the smiling faces after the Wisconsin Supreme Court ruled the governor went too far with his stay-at-home order. Larry Pryor opened up his bar last night in West Allis, Wisconsin, not long after word came down from the court. It was a rough two months, and uh, yeah, we really miss our customers. A lot of them are like family to us, and it's good to see a lot of familiar faces. It's been a long time. The governor's order was due to expire in a couple of weeks. The government said this morning more than 2.9 million people filed for unemployment benefits last week. That's down a bit from the week before. The business analyst Jill Schlesinger says it makes 36.5 million people seeking help after losing work since the pandemic began. The National Bureau of Economic Research predicting that 42 percent of the layoffs now could be permanent. And that's what's worrying economists across the country. A federal appeals court has given new life to the lawsuit that accuses President Trump of profiting off his presidency through his D.C. hotel. CBS's Stephen Portnoy. The Fourth Circuit appeals court heard the case in bonk, meaning all 15 of its judges weighed in. By a 9-6 to six vote, they've overturned a smaller panel of three who last year ruled in the president's favor. Now, the emoluments case brought by Maryland and the D.C. government can continue. The legal question the appeals court answered was narrow, not focused on the merits. But the Fourth Circuit says it can hardly conclude that the president's view of the emoluments clause is clearly and indisputably the correct one. Wall Street right now, stocks making up some of the losses, but the Dow is down 51 points. This is CBS News. Why settle for average? With Capital One, you can open a new savings account with a rate five times the national average. Welcome to Banking Reimagined. What's in your wallet? Capital One N.A., member FDIC. Do you have constipation with belly pain, straining, and bloating that keeps coming back? Take the five-question gut check to see if it could be more than occasional constipation. It could be irritable bowel syndrome with constipation or IBS-C. Linzess, or linaclotide, is a prescription medication that treats IBS-C in adults. Linzess is not a laxative. It works differently. Linzess helps relieve belly pain and lets you have more frequent and complete bowel movements. Individual results may vary. Do not give to children less than 6, and it should not be given to children 6 to less than 18. It may harm them. Do not take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. Talk to your doctor about whether Linzess is right for you. Go to Linzess.com to take the five-question gut check. That's L-I-N-Z-E-S-S dot -S com. Or call 1-800-LINZESS. There's a search for answers in Kentucky in the fatal police shooting of a paramedic. Louisville, Kentucky police fatally shot 26-year-old Breonna Taylor in her own home two months ago as they were looking for a suspect who did not live there. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir thinks the state's attorney general and U.S. attorney should review the case. The truth is always the very best answer. And I just want to make sure that we get that. Several high-profile politicians are calling for a federal investigation of the fatal shooting of the African-American paramedic by police. Jim Crisula, CBS News. Ultimate fighting may not be for everyone, but it's the first sport to resume competition in the pandemic. And the title fight last night in front of no fans in Jacksonville was particularly brutal. At one point, loser Anthony Smith handed two of his knocked-out teeth to the referee. He also suffered a broken eye socket. In northern New Jersey, I'm Steve Kathan, CBS News.
At IVEDC, our mission is to help grow the Imperial Valley economy by aggressively marketing the valley to attract industries that create jobs and raise the local standard of living. We have had considerable success with the renewable energy industry, and due to these efforts, local businesses have benefited and jobs have been created. The Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation is continuing our efforts to grow the local economy with new businesses and new jobs. That means a better way of life for our valley. CBS News, the service of the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. It's all here. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for... Carol Buckley. Things he says and, like, like you can connect to them. AM 1230 KXO. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Hey, let me call, let me call you back, man. Hey, man, how's it going? Hi. So uh, I have this stain, and uh, I heard you're the guy. Say no more. Valley Dry Clean has got you covered. Ah, no. ah. There you go, man. Cool, man. Hey, man, you got it out. What'd you guys do? Let's just say we've got a secret weapon. Thanks, man. <laughs> 